Hi, I'm Brian. I wrote CodeKit, and this video is all about a feature called CodeKit Frameworks. Now, a CodeKit Framework is simply a collection of files that you can share across multiple projects. Here's the setup. I've got demo site our trusty project already added to CodeKit here, and I'm looking at two files in Sublime, main.scss, a SAS file, and grand.javascript, which is just an empty jQuery handler. Now, over here in my browser, which is previewing this demo site project, I see this button of doom, but it doesn't look very buttony. Well, I've created a set of styles for buttons across multiple projects. I reuse this on a lot of websites, and I don't want to just copy that code into my main.scss file here. I'd like to keep one copy of that SAS on my disk and just reuse it across multiple projects. That way I don't have to worry about, did I update this button SAS with the latest changes that I made on that project I was working on last week, and so on. So I have this folder VDK framework, and if I bring that up in Sublime, it has two files in it. VDK buttons.scss, which just defines a SAS mixin called VDK button like this. And I've got this myfunctions.javascript file, which I might have some functions here that I frequently use across multiple sites. I have a really simple one here. Now what I want to do is apply these styles to this button, but I don't want to copy them into my project's SAS file. So how I'm going to do that is simply add this folder as a framework to CodeKit. And instead of dropping it up here, I drop it down here, which adds it as a framework. And I can see that listed here in the project's popover by selecting the frameworks category. There it is. I'll switch back to demo site here so we're looking at our project. Now in main.scss, all I need to do is add one import line. And it's going to look like this. Add import VDK buttons, and that's it. Now note that that's the name of this file right here, VDK buttons, but I've omitted the extension. I don't need to worry about resolving the path. This file here is in this demo site folder. I don't need to go up one path and over to VDK framework. CodeKit's going to handle that for me. I just need the name of the file there. So I'll close this. And now I just need to apply my mix into this element. So I'll paste in a little class declaration here, which just includes that mix in. I'll save my SAS file. And now CodeKit has found that framework, brought in those styles, and now I've got this nice button in my browser. Now, the really nice thing about this is I can come and change my framework's SAS in here, and every project that uses that style will update, and CodeKit will recompile to capture it. So I'll make this, instead of this color, I'll make it red and save my framework file. And there we go. CodeKit noticed that change, saw that demo site had a file that was using a framework file, and recompiled it so that the button is now red. If I select main.scss and go to the imported files tab, I can see that this file is importing vdkbuttons.scss and in brackets I have fw, which tells me, hey, this is a framework file from a CodeKit framework. It's not in this project. Now, if there were a file called vdkbuttons in this project, that's the one CodeKit would use. So make sure you watch out for name collisions between your framework files and files that may exist in projects. Now, there's one other thing that you want to watch out for. In my main.scss file, all I had to write was at import VDK buttons, the name of the file. But that's because VDK buttons.scss was at the root level of my framework folder, VDK framework. If I wanted to import a file that was in a subpath in my framework, I would need the relative path from the framework folder to the file I'm importing. So for example, if I wanted to import other.scss here, I would need to replace this with subfolder slash other. I can omit the extension, however. Next, I can also use JavaScript and CoffeeScript files in CodeKit frameworks. So here's grand.javascript, and I've added this line, CodeKit prepend my functions.javascript. Now remember, that's a file that's in VDK framework right here, myfunctions.javascript. And when I add this line, CodeKit finds the file in the framework, brings it in, and prepends it before the contents of this file. So if I come to grand.javascript in the app, I can see in the imported files tab, here's myfunction.javascript. Again, it's a framework file. It's created with an in-file statement right here. And if I uncheck this shield checkbox, I won't get any errors in the syntax checker when it runs through this file. Lastly, you can have as many CodeKit frameworks as you'd like. 
I went ahead and added a second one called Second Framework to the app. And in Demo Site now, I can tell my project which frameworks it should use. I do that by simply opening the project settings area, coming down to the framework section and looking at CodeKit frameworks. Here's the list of all the frameworks that are added to the app, and I can tell Demo Site, hey, don't use any files from Second Framework. I want you to only consider VDK Framework. I can do this if I have multiple versions of the same framework so that I'm always using the correct files for this project. And that's really all there is to it. That's CodeKit Frameworks in CodeKit 2.0. Thanks for using the app and take care.